Yeah, ho, Prof here. Uh, it's December 5th, and it's a super sleepy tech update for all you guys. A lot has been going on. I don't know if much has really been getting done, though. All right, well, here's all the tools I had out for making uh, Cat 6A shielded, grounded, through all cables. Um, Preston needed one, or frozen slate. And then I... You can see here, you might have seen this in a previous update, ran this one down around under there to my repair PC over there. Um, that needs to be 10 gig. That's specifically why. And the shelf is now behind the door. Um, there we go. And to be truthful, this shelf and probably that shelf are going to be moving because if we head over here, sorry about the probably now very poor quality. Let's get some lights on. But uh, yeah, I stapled these to the wall, therefore. Lights up here, hanging, just work lights. They've got uh, four tubes of fluorescent, but converted LED in there. And then I took these diffusers that are normally on the ones that are in the ceiling and cut them in half lengthwise to get a nice diffusion. That's how you get this nice lighting in here for working on stuff, at least it's nice. Um, so I have the four brackets there, right there. If you know anybody that needs a Metabone Speed Booster for Panasonic Micro Four Thirds, as well as I'm selling my two art lenses, the 18 to 35 and the 50 to 100. I just don't use them anymore. Um, ever since I have all my primes now for the Micro Four Thirds, but what's happening is these guys going up there. That way, as you can see, the the shelf there is almost full. I plan to put these guys up there. Um, and I have a much bigger stack, you know, way bigger now, as I've been getting some of these used. These are the original uh, premium editions from NIS America. Um, they changed them after many years. Ideally, in the end, I would like to have every one of their old school long box ones. Some of the ones I want are quite rare because uh, a lot of times I only made them. This was during the, uh, is it a depression? Financial depression after 2008. Um, they were the only ones and they came out doing anime with only limited editions, which is a, actually that was a market not being served. And it worked out for them. And I can explain why sometime. Let me know in the comments or hit me up on Twitter if you're interested. And I might make a video. Um, but yeah, so this being full. Um, yeah, I need more space. Uh, we had three brackets, so we bought a fourth. There is a eight foot long shelf out in the garage that's going to have to be chopped down on the end there. Um, and I got to put those brackets up. I bought a new carbide bit and anchors so you'll probably get at least pictures on twitter there if you follow follow um if not i might do a video as well like just a quick thing super easy to put this sort of stuff all it's like mark where you want thing drill hole bang anchor into it put screw in with dr drill actually use impact driver to put screw in use drill prefer preferably hammer drill to drill hole in concrete otherwise if you're like me and you want to have a hammer drill you can use an impact driver. Uh, make sure you get the bit that is chucked for it correctly and is rated for it. Because just because it is chucked for it does not mean it's rated for it. And whatnot. So read the directions. It's important. You don't want things breaking on you. Then I found four smaller brackets to go on top of these anime shelves that, as you can see, are full. Um, and I actually need to pull these two out to put the new 4K Ghost in the Shell movie over where it's supposed to be the Ghost in the Shell. Um, and up here would not be enough room. Like, if you gave a proper amount of height, like, it's here, just to fit, like, the box sets and stuff, it wouldn't be enough room for anime. 
But why I mentioned the CDs over here is that, and they're shorter brackets, so it's gonna be not even as deep of a shelf as that. Um, that'll go up there. And then all my CDs will go up there. And I do not have, I shouldn't say that, it's a growing collection now when I'm into Japanese music more. But uh, basically over here, that's what's left of my US collection. Um, basically just stuff I couldn't get anywhere else or have just had for a long time. A lot of it's backups, if you look back there, from iTunes. Um, I'm glad I did because it's no longer on there. This is a very small amount of my Japanese music collection. The rest is upstairs because I still need to rip it properly. So this is how this room is. Um, basically looking at shelf over there for more anime. Those long boxes will take up the entire right side pretty much, I want to say. Or I might put them on the lower shelf and scooch everything else over. Haven't decided yet because I do like that shelf currently how it is over there. Um, that's going to get a shelf above it for the CDs that are here. And I had to run, oh, how this started is, I had to run that uh, Cat 6A for my 10 gigabit Ethernet right there. And now that I have those tools out, it will get properly um, you know, pinned up and whatnot. And then that goes to the workroom back there because on the other side of that wall, you see those cables drop down from, is the switches. Another thing would be uh, weathering with you came out in 4k some of you might have seen pictures of that on twitter uh, i actually didn't watch my steelbook version uh, and a lot of people had thought i'd watched it already but i have not because i was waiting for the 4k one my 4k disc is bad um when you stick it in here all it does is rev up rev down rev up rev down and then like they go brr, 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 like it just all it cannot read it properly um so I, uh, this is still the old one. Um, if the new one works properly, I do have a bit because return policy at Best Buy and stuff. Um, this will get returned, and I have the new one upstairs. I already put it in the PC upstairs, and it did recognize it as a different disc, which is, makes me think that this one was indeed bad. So, yeah, people say, you, you get everything that's bad, don't you? Yes, that's why I forget who it was um in the twitter sphere but they came up with all the armies oh and on uh the top shelf with the uh, or these are gonna go back behind the wall the door there my 4k blu-rays and my blu-rays you know samurai jack with the new season by the way um and if you see all this packing material that plus what's on that shelf there and I have a feeling a lot of that bubble wrap on that shelf is probably going to be lessened. Um, are all I'm keeping um, for packing materials. Some of these boxes over here are more for storage. And this one is specifically for hard drives. So it has inserts in it. Those will be for storage of those types of things. Um, and these Madrinus boxes are super good because they're double ply. Keep those around. You can put some heavy stuff in there. Um... I'm not a peanut guy usually, but peanuts do not go flat. And as somebody who ships a lot in batches, that is important. So, and I have a giant ass bag if you see there. So we're definitely keeping that. Um, as for bubble wrap, I pretty much need none of that. I will keep the, uh, that's like the flat rate envelopes and stuff. Um, and then there's a couple flat rate boxes on the bottom and the side. If you ever guys ever need to ship a keyboard. Right there is your answer. That is a game board box. It's for shipping board games. Um, and it will ship as media mail. You can get one for media mail uh, or priority mail. But it, in remember, those are those have no weight limit. And some custom boards get really freaking heavy and they're a weird shape. That's the way to ship them right there. Um, especially if you want tracking and especially if you're going international. Um... But yeah, a bit more cleanup's gonna happen. One of these, or down here, is a whole new roll of bubble wrap we found that I didn't know I even had. So that's why a lot of the other, bu other bubble wrap can go. All right, in here, uh, I mean, I rang, rang or hung up a bunch of the lights that came down from my room. By the way, the lighting in my room has been changed for like a year or two already. The, that video just never got put out. Eventually it will. 
Um, this is all wood that's getting chucked. Some of you might be like, hey, but that could perfectly be used fine for X, Y, Z thing. Yeah, I'm sure it could. We've had it up on our rack up there behind my, behind my bike for years. It hasn't. Like, that has a warp in it. Yes, you could probably use it for something. If it was something nice, you'd have to deal with the warp. If it was something crappy, any piece of wood will do. So, and there's some wood also. A lot of that wood is... Uh, this one's been in water, I think, on the other side. This is a whole... You can't see it from this angle, but almost a half of the board is missing that way. So, yeah, I could cut it down to, like, a two-foot section, but we need to clean things up. So, no. Um... This is the bigger pieces of wood that are we are keeping because these are nice, thick, finished uh, shelf boards. Uh, that's basically a full size two by four. Um, these here are actually old long boards, not long skateboards. The, the long board that <laughs> you use to rescue somebody, like as an EMT. Um, there's a bunch back there as well. Uh, this is where all the shelving is going to be. And my last task before I can start putting up more shelves back here is my big old shelf. That has all my extras for all of my tech that I actually use. Um, you know, everything from this shelf is mostly parts from board, like, you know, builds. Like that's, the, you put all the parts left of, from a build and you put it in a box so you can't lose it. That's all boxes of, for uh, equipment. Um, I don't, I barely keep any of the boxes anymore because they add up really, really fast. But those are the few things that I do keep. Um, that's just random crap. That's uh, a lot more random crap. On the right side, though, that's uh, all my old software keys or five software keys that are boxed. There's definitely a way where I can cut up the box and just save the key someplace. You know what I mean? Make that more efficient. Down there, there's a bunch of extra fans. There's my old Xbox 360. You know, there's a bunch of these old... I always keep a bunch of the old AC adapters because you never know what you're leading. You always cut the end off. I don't know if I'm going to keep keep holding on to that sort of stuff, but we'll see. And it's going to be the long boards on this side of the wall. And then on this side of the wall, um, we have chipboard two foot by four foot that I'm going to cut right down the middle to be one foot by four foot. And that's going to line... The, this is the shell's gonna move and it's gonna line this entire wall. So we'll have almost 12 feet of that because I have to cut it off for that pipe. And then we will have 12 feet of that over here. It's gonna be six shelves on that side, or five shelves on the longboard side and six shelves on the two by four slash chipboard side. Uh, for now, I'm doing some painting. Um, this really makes me want to have like a painting hood or something. So I might build one at some point. Super nice build, just spray, but I really wish that it went someplace not there. I am wearing a respirator, so I'm not, like, dying. And I do keep the door closed um, for animals and stuff. But, uh, yeah, so that's why all this looks so full. Hey, there's some car parts. There's two more boxes of car parts. I gotta find time for that, too. Well, this has been a 14-minute tech update. And uh, normally, I don't take so long on these, but I'm kind of out of it because it's right before I need to go to bed. But I thought I'd do it since I hadn't uh, done one in a while. And I'm going to sit down and uh, eat this beef jerky and uh, drink this tea and then go to sleep. Hopefully see you in the next one.